What's up, guys? Today in this video, we have another ship overview that I'm going to be taking a look at, and... And you're going to be surprised with this. <laughs> and boy, I'm... Oh boy, I was quite surprised with this one, because... So, earlier this year, I mean, we know the reship... I mean, normally when new premium ships come in, you know, and they're the sister ship of an elite ship, we'd expect them to be the same tier as their sister ship. I mean, that's not the case with all... Um... That's not the case with all ships because so but you probably got but you guys probably know that earlier this year you know, they they introduced a new French battleship the Jean Bart you know the Richelieu sister ship but they put it as at tier 9 you know along with Alsace and I don't know what wargaming is doing now I mean cuz they're getting weird because I mean first of all they they classified they cuz they classified up I had a battle because they've already classified the Stalingrad and Kronstadt as bat as cruisers when they don't when they really fight like battleships. I mean that's weird enough, but weird but even weirder, they're putting French battleships, new French premium French battleships at one tier higher than their sister ship. <laughs> and literally, we can see here now that <laughs> this is the first tier ten premium ship in the game. I mean, it's an Alsace class battleship. I mean, I'll show you why. Cause let's just read this. So, okay, I have never pronounced it before, so it's French Tier Ten battleship Bor Borgong. Borgong. That, that's how I'm gonna pronounce it. Borgong. I mean, you can tell it's an Alsace because it's not uh 13. Inches. Yeah, the lowest caliber of all French of all tier. 10 battleships, so that's, so yeah, you're not gonna have fun taking on, so this thing's not gonna have fun taking on a lot of, on well-armored tier 10 cruisers, you know, like the Des Moines, you know, which can auto-bounce, on in Salem, that can auto-bounce, no bounce 15 inch shells, so really, this thing's, so yeah, it's an only, like, a threat to, um, the, Worcester and the, Minotaur, I mean, they still can't auto-bounce 15 inch shells, so that's a problem. But other tier 10 cruisers, oh, well, certainly yes. Yes, yeah, Zao, Hindenburg, Des Moines, Moscow, all of that. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, so you're not, so this thing's not gonna have fun dealing with, um, Des Moines. But I'm, let's just see why they did it. Let's just see why they did it exactly. So, I mean, the firing range, I mean, that's pretty in, in well range. Range 20, 24 point. Eight kilometers. That's a pretty good firing range. I mean, HE shell damage is fifty four hundred and can cause a good actually fire chance of thirty six percent. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, that's that's a big. That's <laughs> all right. Let's see. Reload time, of course, twenty eight seconds. Just like that's typical for French battleships, you know. I mean, the dispersion, though, is still pretty... I mean, this I can see the maximum dispersion is still very big, though. 309 meters. <laughs> so that's going to be a problem. So that's pretty problematic. And then the shell velocity of 830 minutes a second for its high explosive shells. And its... Oh, and, it, and for its AP shells as well. Okay. Right, anti-aircraft defense systems. Um, so it's got, so it's got twenty. So it's got twenty, twenty millimeter, millimeter guns with a two kilometer range and a and a damage per second of sixty one for its low range AA guns. Then for its medium range. And why? Well, not. Well, I can't tell which one's me medium range. It's just hard to tell. Then for and for its partly medium range AA guns, it's got uh, well, it's got well, um, it's got uh, tw twenty four thirty seven mil millimeter guns with a range of so three point three and a half kilometers and damage per second of one hundred forty five. I've and then we got and then it's got twenty. 24, and then it has 4-inch guns, I mean, still 124 of them, I mean, excuse me, 24 of them, with a caliber of 4 inches, you know, 
I I'm just doing it in inches because I'm American. What do you expect? With a, with a range of 5k. 5k and a damage per second of 178. And then, and then, and then of course we got, of course we got its secondary armament, mint guns, guns which are its long range AA, eight of course, nine, nine six inch guns with a, nine would also have a five kilometer range as well. But then again, secondary batteries are mainly you are meant for destroyers and cruisers. So it's not for taking out aircraft carriers. Okay, but the maximum speed is actually pretty high for a battleship. I mean, it's 32 knots. I mean, it's still not as good as the Iowa. I mean, it's still good for a tier 9 battleship. I mean, the turning circle radius, though, is still very big, though. Though, 910 meters. So, rut rudder shift time, of course, it's slow. Low 16.6 .6 seconds. <laughs> it's a battleship. It's a battleship. It's... Of course, service detectability range. Yes, it's big. I mean, it's big. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's it's big. <laughs> and then available consumables. I mean, it's got the typical French battleship consumables. <laughs> well, it's damage control party, repair party. That's always important. Main battery re reload booster. Oh ho, catapult. Main battery re reload booster. Ho ho. Ho, ho 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 ho. Oh, that's not. That's not gonna be fun for enemy cruisers. And then I never heard about that. That with French battleships, I might have forgotten. But but it's also got a catapult fighter as well. As well, if you don't mind the long reload. Oh, and then and and then in slot four we got. Engine boost? I mean, of course, that's typical for French battleships, so... I mean, French battleships easily go faster than the Iowa with uh, engine boost on, so... I feel I feel so sad for the Iowa. <laughs> and, of course, all stats are listed did with without crew and upgrade modifiers, but with best available modules. And, of course, it's a work in progress, so stats are subject to change and during the testing. Then now I want to compare compare this to the Alsace. Alright, so, I also forgot to mention that the HP pull on this thing is not really that good. Just a little more than the Stalingrad. I mean, it's only 74,000 HP. I mean, it's a tier 9 battleship. <laughs> okay. I mean, when we compare that to the Alsace, now let's compare this thing. So, with the Alsace, it has the same amount of HP that the Alsace does when, it, uh, when it's out of the stock hole. Okay, okay. Hey, what else? The dispersion. Okay, the, the Alsace has a dispersion of, uh. Okay, it's got a dispersion here of 264 meters. And I'm pretty sure that. Yeah, 300. And the, and the Bor Borgong actually has a higher shell velocity of. Cities, so that's gonna be a problem. You know, shells are just getting spread out all over the place, kind of like they do with the North Carolina. Wait, I forgot the North Carolina's dispersion. Okay. Hey, but then now let's look at the main battery range. It's much higher than the Alsace's range, and as well, oh, it's four kilometers higher. I mean, 
make that four and a half kilometers higher. And of course, same speed as the Alsace. And then what else? I mean, of course, he's got the same secondary arm and pieces as um. This is as well. Oh, the Al. This is the Alsace as well. Oh, nine six-inch guns. Right, sec. Okay, where's the secondary battery? Secondary battery. I'm okay, I don't see the secondary battery. Ah, oh, there it is. Secondary battery. Um. Reed has a range of five kilometers here. Here's here, and it has the same thing. I know the secondary armament and has a range of 75 kilometers. It doesn't say a hey, the range of the secondary armament here, but I can always um look at the okay AA defense systems. Okay, there are the six inch guns. Okay, there are the six inch guns. Okay, very similar range and damage to the mid to um the Borgong. Ung um, so. So Alsace and Borgong are pretty, pretty well, pretty well balanced. Seeing the same, st seeing something in very similar, limer st statistics for its, uh, or its secondary armament. Yeah, I. S Alright, so the Borgongs. Okay, let's compare. Let's see how. Let's, okay, so where's the four inch guns? Where are the four inch. Eight. Where are the four inch eight inch guns? Okay, yeah. Okay, there's that. Okay, there's the four inch. Inch guns. It's got a firing range of 5k. Same thing for this. For, same thing for this right here. I know I can't zoom in. I can't zoom in here, so that's a problem. Now let's compare. Right, concealment. All right, so the concealment. Um, so it's got surface detectability range of sixteen kilometers. In point seven kilometers. Let's compare that with the Borgong. Surface detectability range. Okay, same as. Okay, so it's the same. Borg. Same as the Borgong. Yeah, very similar their air detectability range as well. All between these two. And I'm seeing it has the same turning circle radius as on the Alsace. Even with a stock hull. I mean you can tell this isn't a stock hull. Yeah. Okay, there's that. How good wait, how good is the turning circle radius when Wait, no, it doesn't say. Appar apparently, it does not say that on the wiki. I'm trying to compare them with the wiki right right here. Right here. I'm trying to compare them with the wiki right now. So, I mean, look at the picture. It looks just like the Alsace in um these pictures. Except though, the four gongs um at. <laughs> It's at tier 10. What are they doing? What the heck are these people doing? doing? How weird is this company, actually? How weird is Wargaming? Okay, it's got the same s slot selection as, um, as the Borgong, so. Okay, there's that. Okay, what else? Oh, okay, what about the main battery firing range? Okay, oh, oh wait, no, I already checked that one. I already checked that. Okay, I, I already checked that. Okay, that's okay, that's good to know. Okay. So there's that. I'm going to do some comparison with the Republic. I know, it's very hard to pronounce that. Pronounce it, so... A detectability range. 
And yet still got higher detectability range than the Republic. The Republic. Like, of course a little faster because the Republic's longer. Or so. Okay, yeah. It's... Okay, what else? AP shield. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> what is Wargaming up to? What is Wargaming... Right, anyway, let's go back to the Alsace, actually. See, something I also did not check is the, uh... Damage. Okay. HE shell damage. Damage and AP shell damage is still the same as on... On the Borgong, so... So, yeah, really, it's... Basically... So, yeah... There's all of that. Borgong... Overall, it's... <laughs> Borgong... <laughs> overall, it's... Literally... I mean, honestly... It's up. So overall, Borgong. Hong. It's basically an Alsace at tier 10. I don't know what Borgong is up to. Because literally, that's so weird. How is. <laughs> I like what that person says. It should have 16. It should have 16 guns. But no, it's... Yeah, instead of 12. That would make it much more suitable. <laughs> what are they doing? Okay, yeah. If anyone from the Wargaming Company is watching this, yeah, please tell me in the comments why you... Why, why you put this thing at tier 10 and not at tier 9, because... I don't know how this thing is going to perform. I don't know how threatening this thing would be. I'm probably not even going to consider it a threat to my Des Moines because it's a tier... Because it's a tier 9 trying to be a tier 10. And it's got 15-inch guns and Des Moines can auto-bounce 15-inch shells. And... Ugh. I don't know what to... I just don't know what else to say. Guys, thank you for watching. If you did, please... Please hit that like button and subscribe. Alright, but tell me in the comments below how thing... How good you think this shit will be as a tier 10? <laughs> and, <laughs> and, without said, hope, and, oh, and, without further ado, guys, I'll see, guys, please don't forget to subscribe as well, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.